Well, we've all heard the saying, if you love your job, it's not really considered work. But what if you really, really, really love your job so much, you almost get teary eyed talking about it because you have so much passion for the knowledge you've obtained over the years. In this week's Do My Job, I met a guy just like that. Visiting a brewery for the first time ever, a lesson in science really wasn't what I expected. Coagulation, which eventually causes flocculation, which clarifies the beer. But spending just 30 seconds at the Cigar City Brewery in South Tampa, I realized without science, this place really wouldn't have a product. And the person whose job it is to create that product, Master Brewer Wayne Wombles. All right, we want to do your job. So from here to there to the shelves, Tell us exactly what it takes to be a master brewer. Well, beer is made out of uh, basically four basic ingredients, and one is barley, the next is hops, uh, water, and then the other element is yeast, which is a single cell asexual fungus. Um, and we combine all these elements to make beer. Okay, a simple job, right? Actually, no. Mixing the initial ingredients is the easy part. The harder part of the process, merging science, like chemistry and microbiology, with art, flavors and notes like caramel, raw chocolate, espresso, roasted peanut, cinnamon, and... Wood. Wood chips in with... It didn't cross my mind at the time. No, it didn't. So, so, so why? Uh, because it just gives you different uh, options for um, different concepts, different flavors. Um, just you can add more depth to products. Um, just uh, this gives you more options with uh, wood. Correct, okay. aging beer on wood. And of course, overseeing each step of the brewing process is just as important. This is where it starts. Uh, these are grain silos. This is where we can keep our base malt and get it delivered. Um, each one of these silos holds over 100,000 pounds of grain. Um, and generally the trucks will deliver between 45 and 48,000 pounds at a time. And it's blown in with, uh, with, an, with an air system. From there, the rest of the process takes place inside, where it's managed mostly by machines, but overseen by Wayne and his team. Knowing the complexities of each step is important for a master brewer, especially when it affects the taste of the product. Secondary fermentation with Britannomyces bruxellensis tray and uh, wait, wait, aged wait, 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 with what? Britannomyces bruxellensis stray. Okay. It's a wild yeast strain that gives intense tropical fruit notes and sours the beer slightly. And how many people know about that? A lot of brewers. Okay. <laughs> Only, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing anyone that probably works in microbiology has a pretty good idea of what it is, too. Did you? Um, no, just studying. Just, it's another... Where? Uh, reading. There's, there's not a book that says brewery for dummies, is there? Uh, yeah, there is actually. There oh, okay. Is one, yeah. I didn't read that though. But he probably could have written it because when he's not traveling to other countries like Belgium, crafting more ideas for flavors or collaborating with other breweries around the country, Wayne's investment into the product he creates goes way beyond the 40 hour work week. Not because he has to, it's because he wants to. Yeah, I definitely love my job. I love what I do. And uh, thank you so much for coming out and taking a look at it. Hey, thank you. Uh, Wayne and his team at Cigar City Brewing pump out 120 barrels on a normal work day. That's 3,720 gallons. Of course, our tour was special, but they do give more basic tours. They also have a tasting room. It's actually getting bigger. They are expanding. And by the way, if you have a job that's unique, cool, fun, or just outrageous, and maybe you have passion for it like Wayne does his, let me know because I'd love to come do your job at jgum at WTSP.com or let me know on Facebook.com slash 10 news. Wow, Professor Wombles is what Professor he Professor Wombles is That's what really he, good. Yeah, he has a passion for it. Like I said, many times during that interview, I felt like he was about to just cry because he loved his job sure. so much. So.